Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. And welcome back to another Astro Chat episode. I'm back. I'm back doing Astro Chat episodes. I haven't done one for ages. I think it's been quite a few weeks since I've done one of these episodes. And I've got a few little things to share that I've been noting down over the weeks because when I do a reading for one of you guys, it's amazing new insights form, I learn things. The other thing is that when you guys ask me a question as well, so in your form on the reading um, scheduler program, when you ask me questions there, sometimes those questions get my astrological mind thinking and new things come up. And of course, when a reading is done, as part of your package you're able to email me once with whatever questions you have and I email you back so that way it's a complete experience for you and I make sure that you're totally happy so in those uh, Q&A's some amazing learnings and discoveries are made on my end so I want to thank you so much every time you guys ask me a question because it sparks some new thoughts some new idea and What I wanted to share in today's episode is a tiny little remedy that I came across. I actually think this one came from me reading Krishnamurti and then there was another quote about comparison that I read and everything just clicked and I was like, ah, that is the remedy for the sixth house. So in this episode, we're going to look at a sixth house remedy, overcoming the comparison of Virgo. So this is a good video for any of, those, any of you who have Virgo in your chart. Maybe you've got a Virgo ascendant. Maybe you've got uh, a few planets conjunct in Virgo or one of the nodes in Virgo somewhere. So that could be anywhere really in the chart. So I'll just draw up a sample chart here. How are you, by the way? I hope you're having a good day wherever you are. I also want to thank the lovely viewers who have sent me really nice comments ask how I am because you know I'm here in Sydney Australia on lockdown and yeah it's been kind of interesting I mean I don't go out much so I haven't noticed anything too different I've been so busy with readings and I've been so busy doing this I did this healing program which has gone really really well I'm so happy I did that and it's just about done so I've been busy I've been doing my own thing so I've hardly been going out Uh, or interacting with the world very much in that sense. For me, I kind of know because of the astrology, actually, I kind of know that the next few years while Saturn is in his own two houses, yeah, there's going to be upheaval and, you know, collective agreements are all going to be renegotiated at this time over the next five years, really, until 2025. So I'll do a video on that. Don't worry, I'll I'll be back with the Astro Chats now. I'm going to have some more time open up. But with this topic, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to those of you who have asked how I'm doing. I'm fine. Uh, I've just been super busy and had my head down on my work. Hardly go out that much anyway. And um, yeah, all this work has meant I've come up with this little insight for you today. So we're looking at a sixth house remedy. So when I talk about the sixth house, what are we looking at? Well, we are really looking at this house here. Sixth house, this is the one. So if you've got any planetary energy here, or Virgo. So Virgo, you could have Virgo ascendant, you could have, you know, Virgo in the 10th house, maybe some planets conjunct or something. Wow, you'll be quite the career person if you've got that. Um, Yeah, so that's what we're really looking at today. And a remedy to strengthen this sixth house. If this is something that you're concerned about, maybe you've got two or three planets here and you've had some challenges, you've had to deal with other people coming at you. You know, this is a house of enemies. So how can you handle the energy here is there a remedy is there a way there is absolutely a way and i'm going to share that with you now so stick around in this video if you oh look at that we're at the five minute mark already i've hardly said anything okay um what is the remedy all right well i'm going to read out some krishnamurti because he talks about comparison he talks about comparison a lot and I was reading him recently and I, as I was reading him and I thought to myself, he's definitely got either a lot of Virgo or a lot of sixth house 
energy. I open up his chart and sure enough, I've got it up on my screen. He's got three planets there. And these three planets are opposite his very insightful moon. He's got a, a deep thinking moon there, this philosophical mind in Mula Nakshatra. He's got this beautiful moon up there. So the moon is accurately observing the planets on this line. You know, he's got a very sharp mind that has the ability to look deeply at what is. So he's not even though the moon is up there in the 12th house. And next time I do an Astro Chat episode, we're going to talk about the 12th house and the potential for fantasy thinking. Okay, so even though it's in a place where, you know, potentially the mind could be creative in other ways, it's not. He is busy investigating, I would imagine, some of the drama that he would be attracting from that sixth house there, which he did attract in his life. Uh, he attracted all kinds of things. So. Through the living of his life, he discovered all these things about comparison. So why is that? Why did he discover so much about comparison? Well, it's that sixth house there. Virgo, or the sixth house, this is the part of the chart where the intestines are. Now what do the intestines in our stomach do? They compare. They say, all right, we'll keep this. We we'll keep these nutrients, but we're going to chuck out these. We don't need these toxins. We we'll keep the nutrients. So Virgo has this incredible function of being able to sift and sort. And in a very meticulous way, we're dealing with Mercury here. You know, it can pick out what's great and it can throw out what's not so great. So what is that? That is comparison, right? Now, Krishnamurti, if you've ever been a student of him, you know that he talks about comparison all the time. It's, it's a hot topic for him. And yeah, as I was reading some of this stuff and I was I'm thinking in my mind, okay, this is comparison. Well, he's, he's definitely got sixth house or Virgo. And I know I've done him as a case study in my master's series. I'll point you above. Uh, and I do remember charts. For, for him, what I really remember is his son and his Saturn. That's burnt into my memory. I can't not think of him and not see that Sun and Saturn in the positions they're in. But I thought as I was reading all these quotes about comparison that yeah there's definitely a sixth house here. So let me read to you some of the things that he says about comparison because it's quite interesting. He says you know to put it very simply if you are compared with somebody else you are not important are you? In that comparison there is no love is there? Our society, our schools, our education, our big people they have no love. So all our society, all our culture is going to pieces. Everything is deteriorating. He says, if you can look at yourself without condemning what you see, without comparing yourself with somebody else, without wishing to be more beautiful or more virtuous, if you can just observe what you are and move with it, then you will find that it is possible to go infinitely far. Then there is no end to the journey and that is the mystery, the beauty of it. So in that quote there, I picked out these two different quotes and you know, in the one he's kind of saying that there is no love where there's comparison and then the other one he's saying, look, you know, if you can look at yourself without condemning what you see. So obviously that's a remedy right there. So sixth house people, if you can cultivate that ability to not compare yourself, not condemn yourself, not lower yourself to other people, there's some status type stuff going on in this sixth house as well, isn't there? So I mean, that, that's a great remedy in itself, but I tell you what the ultimate remedy is. This I came to, and I can't remember where I saw it, but I think it might have been just on a quote board somewhere on Instagram or something like that. I didn't know who wrote it or who said it, but I found it. Here is the quote. Now this is the remedy. Compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to who someone else is today. That's the remedy, right? And that is by Jordan Peterson. I'll put it on the screen by my side so that you can read that quote. But Really, the remedy is in this part, compare yourself to who you were yesterday. And that's it. And if you can do just a little bit better than whatever you did yesterday, 
That's brilliant because then you make this a productive house. When you're doing the comparison thing, you're losing energy. The energy gets lost. In fact, I would say that because we can read the line, you will lose energy out of this 12th house. You'll lose the energy. If you keep comparing, it's a, it's a good way to lose momentum. It's a good way to, you know, and, and it can, that can be a thing of procrastination because this 12th house, it's a house of loss. You lose energy out of that house. And I would say that if you compare yourself a lot to other people, you will lose energy that way. Now, if you don't do that and instead you, and I'll scribble off that, instead you just compare yourself to who you were yesterday, you're competing with yourself, you're keeping the energy here. And ideally, if you improve a little bit, this becomes a productive house. What does this become? It becomes, well, three, six, 10, 11, right? It becomes an Upachaya house. Oops. It becomes an Upachaya house. It becomes a house that builds, you know, over time, gradually. And the energy, you, just, you can just keep building a magnificent career. Especially, I mean, if you've got anything connected, if you've got these two connected, six and 10, Wow, wouldn't that be amazing, you know? And I, if I had time, I would have found a good example that did that, but I'm sure there is something like that out there. Hang on, let me have a look at Krishnamurti. Oh yeah, look at that, he's Venus. Yes, I mean, he, he is the one. He's got Venus as the Lord of uh, the 10th house. It's sitting there in the sixth. Because he did incrementally build over time. He built, he built such a beautiful legacy that is still being enjoyed today. Isn't that amazing? Wow, well guys, I think I'm gonna leave this video there, but I hope that's been a good overview of the sixth house, Virgo, of this concept of comparison, how painful that is. You know, it creates fear as well. That was, that was another thing. Let me just see if I can find this other quote. There was another one that I could read out. I might as well, go on. Um, those who want to check out, they can check out here. But he says here, comparison breeds envy, jealousy, and jealousy is the beginning of fear. So when you are compared with another student, you as an individual, as a boy or girl, are not important, but the other student is important. When you compare yourself with somebody else, then the somebody else is more important than you. You know, and he says, yeah, so in that struggle is born, envy is born, fear, and really, the, the remedy is to compare yourself to who you were yesterday and not necessarily to who you were five years ago or 10 years ago. Hopefully who you are today is you've progressed in life or you, you know, um, so that can be useful, but ideally you just shorten that little time frame. compare yourself to who you were yesterday. And that way you can incrementally build, uh, you know, build up the energy of yourself, your yourself, your inner authority, your career. Inner authority, of course, you guys know when you watch my transits, it's very much a ninth house thing. So who knows, I might do an episode on that, but stay tuned on the channel. I hope to be doing more of these Astro Chat episodes and I look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.